Today, we're going to explore the flicker addition effect and how to use it to create a flicker effect on your footage. Whether you want to add a dramatic flicker, simulate a light going out, or create a strobe like effect, this tutorial will show you how to use the various settings to get the perfect flicker. First, import your footage into the timeline, ideally, one with light sources such as street lamps, candles, or light bulbs. These types of clips work best with the flicker effect. Head to the FX library and under Open FX, search for flicker addition. You'll find this effect under the color section. Drag and drop it onto your clip in the timeline. Once the effect is applied, head over to the inspector to adjust the settings. Let's break down all the available options. Flicker type. You can choose from several flicker types to control which aspect of the clip. Flickers. Flicker lift. Adjust the shadows of the image, flicker gamma, affects the midtones, flicker gain, modifies the highlights, flicker vignette, adds flickering to the vignette or outer edges of the frame. These options allow you to control exactly where and how the flicker is applied depending on the desired look. The range setting determines the intensity of the flicker across the image. You can adjust it to make the effect stronger or subtler. Depending on the mood you want to create, the speed setting controls how fast the flicker effect occurs. A higher speed will cause quicker flashes, while a lower speed will create a more gradual flicker. This setting adjusts the smoothness of the flicker. Lower values make the flicker more abrupt, while higher values make the flicker smoother and more gradual. Pause length. The length of time the flicker pauses before continuing. Adjusting this helps you control the rhythm of the flicker. Pause interval determines how often the flicker pauses, allowing you to fine tune how frequent the flickers are. Randomness This adds randomness to the flicker. Increasing the randomness makes the flicker more unpredictable, creating a more chaotic effect. Lower values make the flicker more regular. Once you've adjusted these settings, play around with the values to find the right balance for your footage. Whether you want a subtle light flicker or an intense strobe effect, you can easily fine tune it to fit your project. And that's it. With just a few tweaks, you've created a flicker effect that's perfect for adding tension, drama, or a vintage feel to your footage. Don't forget to experiment with different flicker types and flicker quality settings to really make it unique. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more tips and hit the bell icon so you never miss a tutorial.